Whoops, I cut that right off. Hello everyone, Visa of here. Welcome to some more quarantine. Well, we're starting a bit late today. I got hung up at uh, a store and all that stuff. And so we're a little bit late, but we are here. Hello, all my friends. We are missing Vasha and Zozo. They have some uh, personal stuff to attend to. So unfortunately, uh, they cannot make it, but it's okay. We can, we can deal. And of course, I was mucking with stuff while we were loading up and the wrong fantasy grounds loaded. So got to reload it. That's good enough. What's going on, everyone? What's up, y'all? Hey. Okay. I'm ready to play some DD. You guys ready to play some DD? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's see. Get things did. Quick recap of last week. You guys started making, you made your way all the way down into the lair. You found the area where the, the soul cairn exists. Uh, you see in the distance, there seems to be uh, a humanoid person on a kind of a, a pedestal pillar area, um, channeling some very uh, necrotic energy. Um, seems to be surrounded by uh, four or five uh, ghoulish looking figures that seem to be channeling energy into him. And uh, as you walked into the cairn, uh, he kind of shouted out that uh, there were some intruders and uh, you guys kind of got flooded by an army of uh, little skeletons that are uh, clawing at your guys' ankles. Currently, uh, two are riding... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I keep wanting to say Moira. Two are riding Eva. Um, and we are at the top of the initiative order. Oh, I, we, need, we need sounds. We need sounds. We are in a cave... Oh, it's oh crap! Cave map. Which one? What's the name of the file? Uh, volcanic, volcanic shrine. Temple. Yo, cereal! Thank you so much for the reason, my dude, for forty-two months, Jada. Here we go. Get him cooking. Three and a half years. My That's cr a long time, bro. <laughs> yeah. Three and a half years. Yeah, the fact that we've known each other for three and a half years yep. is straight bananas. Now I forgot what I was doing. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the three and a half years, my dude. I appreciate it. What was I doing? Did someone remind me? I said, assuming pulling up the map and looking at the skeletons. Yeah, I'm, I already did that. I'm... What am I doing? Oh, uh, seeing... Who is the top of the initiative order? Uh, so I know that. That's skeleton 13. There was something else I needed to do. I just don't remember. Oh, I was playing music. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I was doing. Hold on. We are in a cave, and it is gloomy. We are in a gloomy cave. Gloomy cave. And we're gonna have some battle music. How about some? What's the map name? A uh, volcanic shrine. Volcanic shrine. Okay. Um, I don't see it on the. Never do I. All right. Uh, add under volcano shrine under images. Uh, yeah, under oh, images. Volcano shrine. Here, oh, wait. Oh, Hang on, let me go. Yes, you got to go, um, go to the next pages. That, yeah. oh, yes, that could help. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, thought, I thought you just scrolled down. That was it. <laughs> um, okay, volcano shrine. Ah. Oh, yes, here we are. That is too much sword and board. I don't remember the battle music that we were listening to. You could just put on one winged angel and it would. Right, it would just fit. It would suit. It would suit. <laughs> no lie. No lie there. Oh, here you go. Because I was uh, in the wrong thing. Echo chanting as well. Yep. Yes, I would have. Yes. Echo's been chanting like a champion. Making sure to keep you guys from getting... Overloaded. That didn't sound like it changed the, the audio at all. You guys can hear it? I can hear it. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, it sounds like I was lowering the volume on my sliders and it didn't change it in my headset. So, I don't know what's going on there. Um, okay. Let's get started. This is the... Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. This is the DM one. Cool. This is the one I need open so I can actually do things. All right. Skelet 13 is the first one up. I don't know where you're at, so show me. Reveal yourself to me. 
Oh, you're all the way down here. Alright. Oh yeah, they only can move five. God, these things are worthless. There you go. They're tiny. They are little men. They have little legs, just like me. They got little legs! Alright. <laughs> um... He's gonna... Oh, wait. Echo had her chant up, so he can't move any closer, so he's gonna go that way. Okay. Um, Echo, your turn. Okay, I'm just gonna continue charting, enchanting, even charting. And mm. I am going to just move to about here so that people can catch up. Okay. And that will be it, because I'm still charting. Champion. Uh, you gonna pass your turn? You good? Yep. Oh, hang on. Sorry. You're good. Oops, problems. Wouldn't that, like, push away 21, 5, and 29? So, what I decided I'm gonna do is on their turn, I'll push them away. That way I don't have to, like, wait on pushing away and then switch to people's things. I think that would be easier. We'll see how it works. Um, but this guy can move now. Slightly closer. Skelet 6 can move slightly closer. 30. Can mosey. Alright, Lushu. Go, go. Uh, um... I'm gonna move to here. Because I'm guessing like 5 and 21 technically would be pushed away already, so... Oh, yeah. You know what? Maybe I should have moved them, huh? I'm going to move there. So I'm going to do that. Um, and to be fair, I think that'll be it. Hang on. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Okay, making sure everyone's... Out of range of the 15. There we go. Skelet 7. Oh, real quick, why is there a, um, like a character token in between 25 and 13? Does everyone else see that, or is it just me? Yeah, for some reason that guy keeps showing up, and I don't know why. Don't know why. It, 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 for some reason it thinks, it thinks it's like, <laughs> well, it thinks it's Vasha. Oh. Or, uh one of the other player characters. For some reason, it keeps showing up, and I delete it, and it comes back. So, it's deleted now. We'll see it come back in a minute. <laughs> Fantasy Grounds is cursed. Official. Ain't that true? <laughs> 23. All right. Well, they can't get next to Echo because they see the big old swirling stuff, so it's going to step forward. 24. It's going to take a schmackin' at Pancake. And it hits, so you have a skeleton riding you now, Pancake. And you took three damage. Eva's turn. Yep, you got two skeletons on you. <laughs> Get off me, bro. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh, that actually might be enough. I have to open up their, their sheet to remember if that's enough. Mm. Yep, that totally worked. He's dead. Which, uh, so that was, it was either 38 or 18, or 39 or 18. Okay, uh, I guess 18. Okay, let me find him. 18, where are you? Oh, there's so many of them. Right next to the brown bear. Yeah, right next to me. On the well, I, mean, I have to find him in the character sheet, or the combat tracker is the thing. All right. So you, bear paw, smash him. Yep. Yeah, it takes your action to uh, try to cool. smash them off you. Mm. Oops. That guy is uh, channeling. So is he. All right, Skelet 12 is going to shimmy. Attempt, sh attempted shimmy. There it is. 17, also a shimmy. 25. Can't get closer to Echo, so let's go slightly around. 28. 
has to stay on the perimeter. 31. Oof. People in the back are about to get surrounded. 34. Where are you? Right here. 11. 18 is riding Eva, so you just take damage. Stand. <laughs> yeah, just getting like paper cuts on you. Yeah. All right, 39. Wait, you killed 18, right? Yeah, you uh, killed 18. I he should be dead. Off, so. Not sure if that's killing him, but yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Um, so. We'll say 30, that was 39's damage because he's also riding you. Whoa, his his thing's jacked up. I don't know why 18 is still showing up at the combat tracker. But that's annoying. Whatever. 19. Shump. All right, Vash's turn. Uh, oh crap! I have to open her camp. She's going to probably pull the dead at 24. Or she could do her channel divinity and just fucking murder lies a bunch of them. I was gonna say, isn't 24 on top of me? Is 24 on top of you? That's. Yeah, she could help you out though. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't murder him yet. That's unfortunate. Alright, she's gonna toll the dead. On the one that's on you, Pancake. Yeah. Um, what was it? Twenty? What was it? Twenty-four? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. She. Oh, that was almost a twenty. No. And it slid over to a five. That's unfortunate. No. Oh wait, no, no. That was the save for the skeleton, so it would have sucked if it was a twenty. It was a five, so it worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> Duh. All right. Why is it different damage? There's two damages here. If the target is missing any, oh, it takes more damage if it's missing more. That's cool. I didn't know that. But the thing is just gonna die. Yep. All right, 24. You are no longer being ridden by a, a skeleton. man. All right, it is Pancake's tame. Ta tame. Turn. Before that, I want to cast some Uh, who are you casting it on? 19? 19. Go for it. Oh, remember that's a that's a two-step process. Yeah. So it's first on myself. Uh, you cast it on them first, don't you? Hold on. Do I? Where's Hunter's Mark? There it is. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you cast it on them first. Uh, and then... Skelet 19 first. Yeah, the, the top one, you put on the Skelet. I think, hold on. Um, no, the bottom one you put on the Skelet, the top one you put on you. Fuck, I don't remember. What's the order? If Hunter's Mark damage 1d6. Oh no. <laughs> the the bottom one you put on yourself, the one with the C and Hunter's Mark only. Wow. That one you put on you. And uh that gives you the concentration. And then the other one, if you hit him, it does uh more damage. There. I, I just dragged it on it for him, or for you. Fun, fun, because Hunter's Mark is evil and complicated for no exact reason. <laughs> it's it's just the fantasy ground side of it. Okay, so we're going to hit the road with the longbow. Oh, you... Uh, 
starting off big. Oh my god, you just You just exploded that dude. <laughs> starting off with the 20. Yeah, he's a uh, he's super dead. He exploded. Just, just drew that bow and um, and if I remember right, since you killed him, you can move your hunter's mark for free. Correct? Um, I'm going to... So since I critted him, that seems... In... I'm going to move it to... We're going to say... Let's do scale at 15. 15. All right. 15. There you are. All right. So we will drag this on to 15. Bam! Mm -hmm. I Sick. also need you to bring up Tyrion. Uh, oh, can you not see him? No. Can you see him now? It doesn't automatically give me Tyrion's information. That's you really annoying. It, it is. You have it now, right? Uh, give it a second. My computer's slow. Maybe I can't do it through the, uh... There we go. Okay. So, good to know I can do it through the combat tracker. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's it. Then I'm hitting at 17 with Kyrian. Okay. Not even 10 feet away from me, correct? Kyrian? He, no, he's he's right next to you. That's what I thought. Okay. So, I'm just going to have him attempt to bite him. You're going to have him run up to go bite 17? Yeah. No. Uh, he, he misses. He tried, but he missed. He tried. Okay, um, and then count my turn. Okay. 29 cannot move that way, so has to shimmy this way. Number three is also gonna shimmy. Scared if I end up clicking things too quickly, stuff is gonna just freeze up and cause problems. Mm, nine, you can go there. All right, Zozo's turn. My thing opened up off the screen again. There you go. All right, Zozo. What is Zozo going to do? She's probably going to do some bard stabbing. Because she seems to be really good at that. <laughs> um. 10, 15. She only can... So, you know what? I'm going to have her catch up to Echo because she, she moves slower than everyone. So, 15, 20, 25. And does she have any sort of range attack she can do? Oh, yeah. She can try to vicious mockerize someone. So, she's going to do that. Pulls out her little loot and plays an awful chord at 25. Let's see if it hits him. And definitely does. Oh, wait. No, he passed. With 15. Okay. Missed. And he's like, I got no ears. You can't hurt me. All right. 13. 
has to go this way because he can't get closer. 26. A shimmy shimmy. All right. Um, so you guys moved 20 feet. So I roll a d4. And two skeletons uh, can get in uh, to the field this round. So go for it, Echo. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, I am going to... Let me just check my abilities again quickly. Um... Between both groups. So, uh, Good team play. I like it. If I go like that mm -hmm. and continue to chant, and then that will be me. <laughs> Alright, skill at 15. Um, for simplicity's sake, he's going to be the one, uh, one of the ones that can break in. So he's going to move up. Actually, no, he's not. Actually, yes, he will be, but he's going to be able to attack in Kyrian because he's right next to him. Wham! And Kyrian pew, dodges out of the way. Skelet 6 is going to be the other one that breaks in and attacks. Echo, blam. And hits. And you have a, a Skeleton riding you now. Uh, you took one damage. Woo! <laughs> All right. Moving some boys. Lucius, turn. Me. Um, that thing... Don't actually... Wait, I'm with myself now. I can't. Right. This thing here, is that a bush or is it just like grass? Is it something that I can traverse? Or oh, yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, you can walk. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll just go forward slightly and I'm going to attempt to attack skeleton number 28. Get him. Um, all right. So, main hand first. Uh, miss, right? Missed. Yep. Yep. All right. And so then offhand. Oh! oh. Apparently that bush uh, got in your way. You're swinging in the skeleton. It was like <laughs> inside the bush. Okay, um, that's that's official skeleton language now. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that'll be it. Not very much I can really do. All right, twenty-one can step up. It can't hit you, though, because they are tiny. Seven can also step up. Twenty-three. Where are you? Um, five, ten, fifteen. Hmm. He can move that way. Eve his turn! I guess I gotta get the other dude off of me. Uh... Yep. Uh, he's murdered. Uh, it was 39, right? Yes. Uh, yes. All right, he, he's smooshed. <laughs> you're just yeah, like... Smooshed, you're, you're, uh... Just like one of those rodeo bulls. And they're just <laughs> jumping on. You're just like, God damn it. <laughs> right, that's exactly what it is. All right, 39 is dead. Come on. There he goes. All right, skillet 12. Hey, guess what? He's going to go attack Eva. No. <laughs> like, I just got you off of me. I oh. Just move. oh, yep, he hit. <laughs> you got another one on you. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just too big. Your size is really playing against you. 
All right, 17, 5, 10. Okay, 5, 10 is slightly out of range. It's going to attack Kyrian. Oh, critical miss. And just is a miss. Um, 15 hit Kyrian last time, right? So he's riding Kyrian, I guess. 25. Scooch. Alright, 28. Uh, it's gonna swing. At Lushu, pops out from the bush. And hits. For one damage. <laughs> you guys are just barely poking at you guys. Alright, 31. Shimmies. 30. Shimmies. Alright, these guys are... What'd you say? I accidentally pushed a, a thing in my uh, character thing and I put sneak attack into chat. Oh, you're good. Already know them, already know them. Vash's turn. She, um, Pancog, you don't have one on you. Um, Vasha is going to try to hit the one off of Eva. So 12. What a pal. And hits. Yeah, just <laughs> hopefully you can actually help out now instead of just getting ridden by these murder boys. Move, <laughs> right. That's right. You've been just stuck there. All right. 12 is dead. Uh, you no longer have anyone on you. Um, oh, she could still move, though. So she's going to do that. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, she's going to hang out there. All right. Pancake. Europe's. I'm up. Yep. Um, so since I have Hunter's Mark on 15, which is technically riding Kyrian. Yeah, you'll still do more if additional really damage. Well, yeah, of course. If you if you get a critical miss, you might hit Kyrian, but there, and other than that, you're you're gonna try to get the one riding Skeleton or Kyrian. I'm going to attempt to hit the one that's riding Kyrian. Correct. Go for it. That's the Oh, that was almost a 20. And you missed. No. <laughs> you missed. He's still being ridden. How the heck did I miss? Uh, Kyrian's probably freaking out and bucking around. Okay, so... But Kyrian can use his turn right now to do a strength check. Uh, to see if he breaks or he kills the skeleton. Do you know how to do string checks with him? Uh, give me just a second, I got so many windows up. You're good. Uh, do, do, do. check. Here I am. 19! And a 19, yeah, he oh. blows him up. All right, he's murdered as soon as I can find it. Where are you, 15? There you are. You're dead. Get out of here. All right, who's turn? Skelet 29. Shift. Thirty-two. Oh yeah, 32 is going to... Run up, and he's gonna swing at Vasha. If I can, if I can drag properly. Uh oh. Chill out, Fantasy Grounds. There you go. Hits. All right. So Vasha's now being ridden. Twenty-eight. 
22 has to go this way. Five. He's going to step up. Oh, wait. Um, I lied. Vasha couldn't get hit. That was within, uh, that was within range. She took three damage. All right, so put her back. Who's resizing Vasha? <laughs> so 32 couldn't go there because that's within uh, the bubble. So they have to go that way. Five, ten. five couldn't go that way either. So Zozo's safe. Why did... I'm losing my mind here, guys. Who's next? Uh, ghouls are channeling. Zozo's turn. She's going to vicious mockerize 32. And he fails. So she's just gonna die. All right. Skill at 13. All right, I gotta find 32. I wish I could like remove from combat tracker, but still being tracking them if they're dead. That'd be great. Um. Okay, skill at 13. It's gonna shimmy. 26. It's gonna shimmy. Echo's turn. Uh, you're muted, by the way. <laughs> For some reason, my fantasy grounds isn't matching up with my D and D Beyond when it comes to spells. Um, that's because um during rests and stuff, that's when you can switch your spells. Your uh your. Your D D Beyond shows your entire list of spells, but you only can choose a certain subset of those. Yeah, um, I've got the subsets up, but they're not matching still. Uh, which ones aren't there? Uh, let's see. Um, we got protection from evil and good. I thought you had that one. Uh, got. You have protection from evil and good on your yeah, sheet. Um, poison. I had fire, fire, no, fireball. I had poison spray. Yep. Oh, hang on, that's, that's coming up there. Um, oh, where is it? Fear. Um, in there, that's a third level spell. Um, scorching ray. And you can do those? Suggestion. Holy shit. I didn't think you had third level spells yet. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Echo. Oh, I gotta supersize things. Spells. You do have third level spells. That's awesome. So maybe you haven't just added them to your list. Okay, so tell me which ones that you can okay so we can see which ones you can still add yeah um oh so okay so what you have mm -hmm. you want fear fireball and vampiric touch yeah okay i can pull those on for you real quick fear fireball vampiric touch awesome thank you spells uh, fear. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Fireball. Uh, right. If I'm still chanting, the skeletons are just gonna move away. We're not actually gonna do anything. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop chanting because I can restart again next turn. 
So what's gonna happen is if you start, if you stop chanting now, um, you won't. Um, they'll be able to get through until the end of your next turn. Right. Okay. Just heads up. Anyone else can chant, by the way. Just okay, a heads up. Right. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna do fireball uh, towards. Um, no. Yeah, 16, uh, no, frick, 17, 6, 9, 29, 22, that kind of general area. And you're gonna, you're doing what? Fireball. Um, isn't that, is that an area? I forget, hold on. Fireball is one of the most yeah, disgusting 22. spells. 150 oh. feet, my god. And in a 20 foot radius, all right. Um, I don't remember how to assign a... Whatever. Brain fart. I can't... Words. Uh, icon for the thing. Like your other spells. But it has a 20 foot range. Yeah. So, um... Okay. So... First off, I will say... That is a... Um... This is more you can play your character how you want this is more as since uh you're kind of a newer player that, holy shit um <laughs> this is this is one of your only few third level spells it does an insane amount of damage it's 8d6 and these guys only have one life so you are more than welcome to you know because it has 20 foot range you could hit 5 10 15 20 you could target between 9 and 29 and hit mm -hmm. 6, 34, 9, 29, 22, 25. You could probably hit five or six of them. However, you are using a nasty spell. Okay. So it's up to you, though. Ninja, you won't be able to use that again. Um, I don't know how many spell slots you have. Let's see. So if you use that, you... Yeah, you, you have three spell slots, so, so that would be one of your three spell slots. Yeah. So, I attack... I'm gonna get a... Why are you not attacking? Um, okay, so that spell is acts a little bit differently. Essentially, what you're gonna have to do is... That save... Uh, the dex DC 12... You'll drag that yeah. on to 6, 9, ha, nice, 29, 34, 22, 5, 10, 15, 7, oh my god. Um, okay, so let's just keep track of that. Um, he passed, 9 failed, so nine's just gonna die. Um, that was 14, or that was 12. Hold on a minute. Or that was 29. Uh, 29 passed. Uh, go ahead and do 22. Okay. Uh, he also passed. Um, do 34. He also passed, my god, 17. I think they still die because I think it has a reflex. Like, they take half damage, which doesn't matter because it's more than their life. Actually, we can just look that up real quick. Because we might not even have to come do this. On a failed save, they take half as much. It doesn't matter, they just die. <laughs> they take half damage if even if they pass, which is still more than their life. So everyone in that range is just going to die. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark those off. Jeez, that was gross. I'm glad you uh, added your spells. All right, 17 is dead. Uh, 34 is dead. <laughs> they don't even get a chance to try to live. They just incinerate. Six is dead. 
Nine. You just like wiped out half of them with one spell. Nice. Nine, where are you? Of course it's at the bottom. Yeah, right? It's a, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> We're moving too slow. Come on. All right, here. Let me handle this. I'll take out half of them. We can step up. And last one. Although you did just clear, like, the bottom half. <laughs> Jeez, dude. All right. Uh, all the ones you can murder are, uh, are all the ones within your fireball area just erupt in flame and they just you just see their hand little hands go up and they just turn into ash and just fall over. Well nice. done. Nice. Um, I'm gonna stay where I am, so yeah, any turn. Boom. Skelet 8 <laughs> just saw a bunch of his buddies just get disintegrated. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lucio, here you go. Okay, um, I'm gonna attempt number 28 again. Um, main hand. God Dude, he's it. just playing duck and bob and weave in that little bush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh with a crit yeah. and just, just the anger. Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> you just let, uh, actually, it's a crit. I'll let you describe it. Um, I, well, I, I thought before when you said skeletons that they were little skeletons, like very tiny little skeletons. Yep. I zoomed in earlier on. And I seem to actually just like floating heads. There are little skeletons. I just couldn't find a, uh, okay, then. a good enough I'm, icon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to say, because of edit like this, um, I'm going to grab the head and just crush it. Just completely fuck crush off. It. <laughs> just, just, just full on crush it. You know? <laughs> just just make, make pieces fly everywhere. Uh, Perfect. And kind of just brush them. Perfect. With my tuning. And uh, that'll be it. Like opening a coconut. Mm. All right, uh, tw dude. Good thing you killed him. Otherwise, you would have been flanked right now. <laughs> All right, twenty-one. It's going to attack you. And oh, he hits. And you take three damage. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna dodge. Uncanny dodge. Yeah. All right. Every little helps. <laughs> um. <laughs> If I could take half damage, I'm taking half damage. So that's your bonus action? In, oh, it does half damage? Okay. Rounded yeah, down or rounded damage. up? I'm, um, I'm not too sure. Let me, let me double check. Look at him. Starting at fifth level, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to, to half. half the attack's damage against you. It doesn't say up or down. Okay, so you took three. I'm going to say you took one. Get it. <laughs> Um, let's go. Fifth level rogues. Let's go. I will say, because if you if you get hit by him, you're supposed to get ridden. Um, so you dodge, but you'll you take half the damage, but he's still riding you. Okay. I just closed the combat tracker. God damn it. There we go. All right, number seven. Steps up. He can't hit you because they're too tiny. Twenty three. He's gonna step up and hit Vasha. And a natural one. And uh, completely misses. <laughs> Just, ah! he's, he's tripping over all the, the bone piles that are surrounding Eva with all her just smashing the boys on her back. Uh, Eva's turn. Oh yeah, you can finally actually attack. Yeah, I can finally move. <laughs> uh, that one might miss. Um, yep, missed. All right, let's try again. Take a swing. Oh, that one, that one hits. Uh, twenty-three. Get ready, bro. Oh yeah, he's he's super dead. <laughs> nice. Time to go, bro. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. That's my finger. Um, he's channeling away. He's powering up. He's channeling away. 31. 
Where are you? Uh, it's gonna step up. 30. Step up. Can't hit you. 11. Where are you? Step up. Channeling. Alright, Vash's turn. She is... Is 31 still alive? The one just above you, uh, Eva? 31 is still alive, apparently. Yeah. Um. Well, since, like, no one's in front, she's gonna... She's gonna toll the dead, 31. Oops. Wrong button. Toll the dead, 31. Smack! And he fails. He's definitely dead. <laughs> yep. 31. Murdered. Uh, she's going to... Oh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go. And... I'm going to mark off 31 wherever he's at. You are. You're dead. Um, Pancake, your turn. Okay. Um. Okay. It's green. It would be nice if you would zoom out. <clears throat> I don't think that is stupid. Ah, um, computer. Stop. Wow, I did not expect you guys to actually wade through all these things. <laughs> You're just murdering them left and right. Ugh. I'm gonna move up closer to Echo. Okay. Oh, my icon's a little big, there you go. If I could actually get my computer screen to zoom in, so that way I could see what skeletons are around me. Uh, isn't, is there one riding you? There, oh, there there was one riding, uh, Kyrian, that was it. Kyrian, yeah. And he, he... Yeah, he, he murdered him. Fighting. Yep. Um, what's the one that's the furthest away in front of, uh, I want to say Lushu? Uh, 7 and 30 and 8. Uh, you marked off your spell for Hunter's Mark, right? That you used? Uh, your spell slot? Yes. Cool. Okay, and you said that was seven? You're gonna shoot at seven? Yes. Nice. Um, do you, do you want to mark him, by the way? Oh, well then, yeah. Okay, I'll mark him I for you. Rolled it on the wrong um, let me drag. You said seven, right? Yes, yeah, seven. Okay. Oh, so you would have missed. Uh, but he's marked. <laughs> Okay, what's the one next to Kyrian? Uh, 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he Kyrian can hit because he's big. Him. He's like, oh, snacks! Bite the things! Uh, yeah, that was 26? Yes. Oh, dude! Is that the second crit in a row from him? Yes, yes it is. Kyrian's just like all super excited that like all these animated bone snacks are just all around him. He's like, yes, this is great. All right, 26 is just exploded. Uh, you can explain, uh, describe the death if you want, because it's another crit. Um, so 
Kyrian pounces from where he's at. Teeth just absolutely, or jaw wide open. He absolutely crunch the skull, and it ends up just bursting as soon as his skull strength, or er, his jaw strength, crunches on it. He did him a heckin' crunch. <laughs> nice. And then I'm gonna have Kyrian move up. Okay. Maybe a fantasy ground would start acting up. Yeah, cool. there we go. And then pass turn. Alright. Skillet three. They got little legs, they can't even do anything. They have to run so stinking far. <laughs> I'm... Uh. I thought making this map small would... With all these guys would make it uh, somewhat of a, a challenge, but it's a challenge of them getting to you guys. They can't even run that far. <laughs> uh, Zozo sees that skeleton, skeleton just run up and actually is going to step up here. And, uh, oh, she has her loot out, so she can't actually normal attack. So she's actually going to place some mockery at three. And he fails, so he's just dead. All right, three, where are you? You did. Um, now she can move freely. Five. Yeah. She's gonna hang out there. Alright. Thirteen is still alive because he was so stinking far away. He's trying to make his way. Echo's turn! Alright. Um. I've got two more spell slots, so I'm gonna have to use that wisely. Um. One, two, three. Uh, frick. If I move to... Next uh, dude man. Soon, I believe. Oh, uh, that's Basher. Yeah. But that's fine. And, um... I'm gonna cast Fireball again at, towards eight. Towards eight. Okay. Yes. Hold on a minute. Um... So you would have to put it 5, 10, 15. Oh my god. You would have to put it three squares to the right of 30 to avoid hitting Lushu. Okay. But then you would be able to hit 28. Oh, 28 is dead. You'd be able to hit 30 and 8 and 7. So if I aim between the 13 and the 8, that little square there. Uh, oh, you want to aim there? Well, if you do that one, you'll hit you and Vasha. Oh, yeah, no. Um... <laughs> Remember, it's got a 20-foot range of where it hits. Oh, I can move back a bit, can't I? Yeah. Oh, I just... yeah. Hey, but yeah, it's you... Gonna hurt you, yeah. yeah, you don't so want to hurt your I friends. Aim... If I aim like three, oh, yeah, three blocks behind blocks them. Go I got it, I got it. Three uh, where skeleton eight is, three squares to the right of that. Alright, here. Aim it to there. We'll do this. So, like there. Oops. Fireball. We're just going to drag this on just so we can actually have some sort of a reference about the size. So, yeah, that's 10, 20. So that's the range of this thing. And you want it like here? Yeah. Let's see. That's a cool effect. That's, cool. <laughs> that's, that's a clean cool. shot. <laughs> if, if you put it there, we'll say you hit yeah. Skelet 28. Oh, wait, is Skelet 28 dead? Oh, he's dead. Okay. So, if, yeah, if you put it here, everyone is safe. You can hit 13, 8, and 30. 13, 8, and 30. Okay. 
She just wants to wreck things with fireball. Dude, fireball is one of the grossest spells in D and D. It really is, but like, dang, it's so much fun. Yeah, to use. yeah, he exploded. He exploded. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They just die. They they can't even. There's there's nothing they can do. Like they if you cast fireball at them and it's in the range, they just die. There's nothing they can do. They don't have enough life. <laughs> Um, okay, so did you mark off your uh, spell slots? I did. I've got one more left, so I'm going to use that one wisely. Okay, 38 and 13 I'll mark off. <laughs> yeah, she's like, fuck this chanting stuff. Yeah. Just murder him. Murder. 38. Right, okay. So we've got four left. Okay, Where are the rest of these guys? 38 and 13. 13 is just below Echo to the right. Well, right, but I need to open up on the... Oh, yeah, the combat tracker. Yeah, the combat tracker. I wish I could double click on him and open it. Oh, maybe I can. Right click, open in. Oh, bummer. 13 is the first one. All right, he's dead. All right, 30. Where are you? There you are. I see you. You did. All right. And uh, another explosive mass of fireball just summons out of the, the... I don't know. You can describe it if you want, but just squirrel hand conjures fire and just nukes it. Boom! Skeletons everywhere. <laughs> just exploding. Hand, a skeleton hand flies by. I high five it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, that means it's Lucius' turn. Okay, so I might have just figured something out. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, if we can do it, it's going to be slightly annoying seeing as we spent a good chunk of last session fighting these fuckers. Um, you don't actually have to, um, hold the scroll or anything, do you? You have to chant the words, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why don't every one of us just start chanting? Because it Does takes it your say... action. So what? So if every single member of the party started chanting, there's nothing in the scroll or anything like that that's saying only one person has to chant. Mm -hmm. So we could have all started chanting from the very beginning, used those actions, and then just walked. Probably. But you would just have an army of skeletons following you at that point. Oh, yeah, we would have been cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> and we could have just had one major fireball, and that would have been it. That would have been great. Yeah, that hindsight been is twenty twenty. You know? yeah. Hindsight is D twenty. Oh, I made a dumb. <laughs> yes. That's a dumb. Okay then. So I, have I still got skeleton twenty one on me? Yep. So what do I have to do? Uh, strength check. Strength check, okay. Um... Oh, <laughs> 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 It's a strong... That, listen, <laughs> this fucker drinks his milk. Okay, he's got strong bones. Okay, you don't... <laughs> is, <laughs> is that the same guy that's been dodging in and out of the bush? No, wait, you crushed him finally. Okay, yeah, then you, you, uh, that, that was a one. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to crit fail on a one for a check, but it's still kind of great. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say you were like, Bleh! you got, got distracted. This dude's riding you, so you kind of just spin around. And, uh, I don't know. I don't want to do anything awful because it's not really your fault, but, uh, you, you obviously, you, you lose your turn. Uh, I mean, you would have lost your turn anyway because it takes the ground, but you're like, my fuck! <laughs> and uh he just gets to damage you because he's riding you so boink and you just took three damage okay, dodge. um will you be able to do that well because he's riding you he's yeah, grappling you i don't know if you can <laughs> you can uncanny someone that's did, 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 he, did he hit me to cause damage no because he's grappling you so the grapple's causing damage mm-hmm 
then yeah, I can't uncanny, yep. uncanny dodge it. It's only on a hit. Yeah. Yep. Used. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he didn't even have to. Once, uh, at the end of my turn, I can use it once until the next round. Yep. Yeah, he didn't even have to roll a damage since he's grappling you. Or roll a hit. Motherfucker. Okay. Ah, fuck skeleton! <laughs> or, or you could say that the fireball that went off literally right next to your face. Just Conan was like, fuck that fire. Play yeah, just. Well, that makes sense. That's part of your backstory, right? It's like, exactly. yeah, screw yeah, the yeah, skeleton yeah. that's riding me. There's fire in front of me, and maybe you just kind of got <laughs> shook. Like, nope, I don't like this. Yeah, because Lu Lushu's afraid of fire. Mm -hmm. He sees his beard. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Seven's going to step up. Swing at you. That's a hit. Now you can uncanny dodge. Yeah, uncanny dodge. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Can you... Can you just use that? That'd be fantastic. All right, I'm gonna have to look that up. There's gotta be a power to say, hey, I have the next damage I do, but uh, I'm just gonna roll it into chat. Um, so you take one damage. Okay, yes, <laughs> saving your ass. It really is. <laughs> um, now it will be Eva's turn. It's time to the bear it can finally catch up to the team. <laughs> um, Although there is two skeletons there. One five. Okay, cool. I'm gonna bite at number one first. Hi. Oh, the twenty. And uh, you just murder him. <laughs> uh, you can explain it. Man, there's been so many crits tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give out a good snarl and just like crunch right down on his head. Give him a good crunch. Bare teeth. A good crunch. Um, and then <laughs> that, that's what these guys are called. Good crunch. Good crunch. <laughs> and, uh, okay. yep, definitely hit. Jeez, a 20 followed by a 19. Get Loaded ready, dice, ready. bro. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't stop it. can't be stopped. <laughs> All right, well, you just murdered two boys. Well done. Hey, 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 hey. Um, so I'm going to a little bit more towards the party, and then I'm going to be done. Jeez. Nice. Get ready to get wrecked, son. <laughs> oh my god, it's skipping over like every skeleton because they're all dead now. It's great. <laughs> Excellent. All right, eleven is gonna step up. Oh, I'm getting bullied. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting big bullied. Oh, and he rolled a one. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, oh, counterattacked. Yo, the target hits you with. You get to hit him with a basic attack. If this attack is impossible, your original target gains an action point. Hmm. Well. Be nice, DM. Be nice. Well, because you're being grappled, that's supposed to keep you from attacking. Can I use that extra action point to kind of like... That's, a, try to... that's what I was going to say is like, um, I'm not, I'm, you're not going to get the attack on him, but you get an action point. Yeah. So if you want... Uh, you can use an action. You can get the action point, and if you want, you can use that to uh, try to break the grapple right now. I will attempt to break the grapple. Yeah, right. strength, check, strength check. Right? Okay. Dude, I like these fumble effects. They're cool. There's no one. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that had such potential to be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Skeletons and fire! Everything just happened. What ha you're just like, what happened to the bubble of protection? <laughs> oh, that was a bummer. Okay, uh Vasha is gonna actually just gonna swing. She doesn't need to do any sort of spell stuff. She's gonna just smack it if she can open her sheet. Come on, fantasy grounds, there you go. She's going to use her mace. And swing at twenty one. Super hits, and he dead. Nice. But 21 was the one that was on me grappling. So they're not grappling me anymore, right? Yep, he's dead now. Oh, thank God. She's like, this guy's having problems. Let me help him out. Hey, he's cool. <laughs> Lucius is going to turn around. Zozo just going to nod. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Technically, it should be at like a disadvantage to be hitting. Yeah. It should be a disadvantage to be hitting someone that's smaller and grappling a friend, but I didn't want to calculate all that crap. Um, so she's gonna...
step up here. Um, Pancake, your turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. uh, what? What is still alive? Is the real question. Uh, eleven and seven are the only ones I see I left like alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven has uh your hunter's mark, I believe. Yep, he has Hunter's Mark. Just a second. Come on. Yes! There you go. Yeah, he's super dead. Finally. He's super dead. Um... Uh, you can move your Hunter's Mark. Wait. I don't think you can move your hunter's mark until your next turn. But yeah, it's Kyrian's turn. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have him move up here and try to claw at 11. 11. Go for it. Missed. Yeah. There's oh. one left alive. <laughs> Holy crap. He attempted. He oh. at least tried. Oh no. Oh that's a that's a ghoul. Never mind. Uh Zozo. The one left alive. She's gonna bring her loot and try to finish off this last guy. He fails. So he's dead. I didn't even need to roll. All right, well, it looks like uh, you guys waded through an army of uh, skeletons, but there still seems to be some uh, guys uh, channeling some energy up on the, the pillars here. Oh, yeah, team. You got this. So I guess uh, however you proceed is now up to you. Actually, you're... This combat tracker is still going on, huh? So, Echo. It's Echo's go. Um, okay, right. Think this through. We need to... Oh, there's one there. Right, I'm gonna move to here. So that's 15. Um, 15... Do. Right, if I move there, there's no way I can hit him with anything. So the chant doesn't work on that guy, does it? Um. Or does it? Well, you don't know yet, but you could totally hit him. You're, isn't your Eldritch Blast like a stupid long range, like 300 feet? Oh yeah. Good old trusty. Good old trusty. 120 oh. feet. So. Oh yeah. And 20. 30, 40, 50. Yeah, you're totally within range. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Come over here, come over here. All right, okay, good, good. So you see this boy up there just channeling some energy. He saved. Holy crap. I can't believe it. Oof. So, uh, no damage. Just... <laughs> he, he's channeling so much energy that the Eldritch Blast just kind of hits it and then ricochets off and <laughs> flies off into the end of the cavern. <laughs> Lushu, you're up. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, ooh, 15, 
twenty twenty five thirty. And I <coughs> am going to use my short bow. Uh, it takes to... an action to sheathe your weapons to pull out a bow. Does it? Ah, okay then. Well then, in that case, uh, 35, <laughs> 40, <laughs> Just, 40, all right. 50, Just booking it on up, huh? 60. Um, actually... Let me double check something because I believe No, I'm too far away. Okay. No, that'll yeah, that would be good from more. Eva's turn. Okay. Uh, movement speed forty feet is a bear, okay. I don't know if Holy crap. Much help us, but I should be able to maybe get a little closer to the dude in the middle. It's not like showing me any of the distances right now, so I'm... Yeah, that, I don't know why, like, that stuff stopped working. So you moved, you were here, so that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You moved 35 feet. Okay. Um, I guess if you want to move me 40 underneath the number 3, that would be fine. I just can't see where sure. the movement speed is. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's... Not really all I can do at this point. Um, you could run if you want. Doubles your speed. Okay. I could do a, a new. Yep. As they say. A new. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, so are the are the dudes on the pillars like reachable or are they just like up in the air? Um, they are on a very high pillar, so okay. getting to them. Um, like how high? Can I? Can yeah. Can I feasibly shoot at it? Yeah, pretty much. The, the way up to get to them is pretty much shoot at them to try to knock them off. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see on the map, but to the right of the big white circle, that that's essentially the perimeter of the force field. Um, to the right of it, there's some stairs, so you got to kind of go around. Otherwise, there's like a 15 foot ledge, and plus there's a perimeter <laughs> thing there. Um, so if you want, you could use your action to run, but that's up to you. Uh, how much does that increase my movement speed? Uh, you would get an additional 40 feet. Okay. Um, and is it the so I I don't actually want to move this way, but is it like the ones here or the ones down here? Um, yeah, it was the first one. Well, I guess okay. the the bottom ones are minor steps too, but they're only like five feet, so you could probably just do an athletics to try to leap up them if you want. Okay. Um, ath what, where are my name? Uh, should be under abilities, I think, or skills. Uh, uh, skills. Yeah. Uh, it would be acrobatics. Uh, it would be in your normal form. Okay, uh, me. Actually, no, it's, uh, it would be his, your dex. Dex, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I do have that, though. <laughs> it's not very, I'm very strong, but I'm not very, like, fast. Not very dexterous. <laughs> I don't know if you'll make it that far, though, anyway. Yeah, either way, I don't know, I rolled it because it told me to, but if, as long as you can move me, like, as close sure. to that as possible, then Five, I can just go. 10, 15, 20... 25, 30, 35, 40. There you go. I can Actually, okay. we'll go that way. All right. Whoever's up next, y'all gonna get wrecked. Calling it right now. <laughs> um, they're busy channeling. Uh, Vash's turn. She's going to also book it. I think she's slightly speedier. She's like 35 feet. Yep. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. <gasps> Just booking it. Uh, Pancake, you're up, Seas. I'm up. I'm up. Okay. Um... Uh, you can use your hunter's mark uh, 
to transfer. Uh, you might not be within range, though. Let's check. What's the range? 90 feet. Um, so you would have to get closer, but you could probably hunt your mark someone. Okay, what's the underling that's currently on the pillar? Uh, the there's four pillar. on a pillar. But the closest one is number four. Yep, yep, you're within range for a hunter's mark. I will go ahead and put that on him. Alright, he's been marked. Has he? And hasn't shown up yet. Uh, it shows that he's marked for me. Is it not? No. Um. Oh, you put your own hunter's mark on you. Hold on. Maybe. Effects. Delete this. <laughs> and then open this yeah, hunter's mark. How did I put it on you when I dragged it onto him? That was weird. I don't know. Um. Okay, you should be good now. No, he's still not... Why can't I... I can't drag it on him for some reason. Hunter's Mark. Drag onto this guy. There it goes. Jeez, I had to zoom in like crazy far. Alright, you're good now. Okay. Cool deal. Cool deal. Um... Okay. Mighty Dead Scott. Please give me a decent roll. Oh, it went from four or four to a fourteen. You totally hit. Yes. Um, you don't do any damage, however, but you do uh, knock him. He takes an arrow to the gob, and it disturbs his concentration, and he falls off the pillar. Oh wait, no, he doesn't fall off the pillar. Uh, he he has a a thing. Um, but the energy shield protected him from all the damage, is what I'm saying. Uh, but uh, you did knock him off the pillar so other people can hit him. Um, yay. Did someone say my name? I thought I heard evasive. Um, okay, so w once he got hit off, he, he just kind of dematerializes. And he shows up. Can, uh, I gotta zoom in so I can move him. And he shows up. Let me move you! Oh my god. I I can't I can't grab him. Let me move. I can't move him because the stupid pillar is in the way. This is actually annoying. There. And he phase shifts up. Next to Lushu and Pan Kong just kind of appears next to you guys. Would you say that's a direct line from where Tyrion's at right now? Um, to him? Yeah, that could be a direct line. I don't know if he can move there, though. He's, he's got a 40-foot speed, right? He has 50-foot. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. He cannot make a normal movement. He could do the 20 foot straight line, but in order to get to him, he has to use his action to get uh, as far as he needs. So he wouldn't get to use his pounce. So he wouldn't get to use his pounce. Yeah, because cause he's too far away from his normal movement speed. Okay, so I'm going to just move him up. Sure. A little bit. If my, you know, mouth would stop. Math Fantasy ground. Let me move. I, I can move him for you if you want. Just tell me where you want him to go. I just move him up 30 feet so that he's still at a straight line. Okay. 
10, 20, 30, 40. So 10. So about here. 10, 20. Okay. Yeah. If, if he runs, uh, did you even move? I moved to the, it's a different... I moved the skeleton because he was on top of one. Ah. Eh. Eh. There you go. He'll be able to run a straight line there and pounce him. Cool. Okay. And with that, I shall end my trip. But at least I knocked him off. Yay. Yes, you did. I, I did a good thing. Oh, he gets to go. No. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, he's going to, um, his, his gnarled fingers, they're extraordinarily long, um, very bony, like, uh, begin to pulse with necrotic energy, and he takes a swipe at Lushu and Pancog. Um, is it a wisdom save? Uh, you don't know. It's just a normal attack. Uh, swings at Lushu. He hits. He swings at Pancog. He misses Pancog. Um, you're gonna... And you said you're gonna uncanny dodge? Okay, so I'm just gonna roll into chat. Um, wow. Garbage damage. So you take one damage. Or two damage. Two damage. Just wait until you see what I'm gonna do on my turn. Uh, just wait. I've been waiting. I've been waiting <laughs> for this exact. I've been waiting for this exact moment. Like you'll see why in a second. I've been waiting to use this. I've been waiting to use this one ability for ages, and now I finally can. <laughs> um. Okay, so that's his turn. Uh, Zozo's turn is going to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The bear could use some healing. What'd you say? So the bear could use some healing. Yeah, she's too far away. Also, but the bonus of the bear is you pretty much want a bear's... I shouldn't be metagaming, but I'm going to fill in for people that don't know. The bonus of a bear is it's t it's essentially just a massive temporary HP pool. You essentially don't want to heal it. You just let it go out. She pops out of form, and she can go back in, and then just gets another temporary HP. Like this is my last wild shape, oh, is it? Okay, then maybe it could be worthwhile. I don't know if Zozo. That's right. You were playing like a, a team player. What's the range on this thing? Sixty feet, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty. Wait a minute. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. That is barely within range. Can you guys still see the ghoul? Okay. Can she see him though? She was there. Yes, she can see him. She's going to try to vicious mock her eyes. That boy. Since he is there. He failed. He failed. Oops, I closed the thing. And he takes a little bit of damage. He takes four damage. Um, And that's Zozo's turn. Uh, Echo's turn. Mwah. Okay, where is the man, dude? Okay, he is there. I am here. What I am going to do? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Can I move diagonally? Yes, but if you move diagonally, it counts as ten. It goes. The first diagonal is ten. Second diagonal is five. And it, that's the only way you can calculate it properly. Does that okay, make sense? Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to here instead. I'm not gonna go diagonal. Okay. And then I'm going to mace the face of uh, the underling. <coughs> oh, that that boy. Okay. Oh, hit him. Yep. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. You miss. Uh, oh wait. Uh, you didn't drag it on him, but I think that missed anyway. So let's see. It's your. Oh yeah, I didn't. Oh yeah, you missed. <laughs> My headset's dying. Hold on. Then 
I don't have any room to move now, or am I? Uh, I'm stuck there. I'm gonna oh, move. Two, three. Uh, I'm gonna move just up here. That's it. End of turn. That sucked. Um, if you move yeah, backwards yeah. like that, you'll you'll take a attack of opportunity from him because you walked oh, up shit, into his yeah. threat range. Okay. Well, in which case, I will move. Well, That's you'll still take attack of opportunity. If you leave any the square that you ran up to, you'll take an attack of, attack of opportunity. Uh, I'm going to stay there then. I'm going to get attacked anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'm screwed. Okay, let's go. Done. Uh, pass turn? Yep. So it would be Lushu. Let's see what you got, boy. Okay, right then. First... I need to hit him. So, main okay. hand. Oh, okay, that's you fine. missed. Second hand, I get a second opportunity. You better hit him. You better hit him. No! Oh my god. You you have the pancake curse from last week. Well, my, my plan was to use sneak attack because I don't need advantage or anything. Because well, you automatically get sneak attack. Of my enemy. Huh? I you can automatically sneak attack? Well, you automatically sneak attack if you have friends next to you. That's what I was about to say, yeah, because I was yeah. reading it, and it's saying you don't need advantage if you mm -hmm. have um, an enemy of your target is next to them. Yep. So, wait, could I just do sneak attack? No, because you have to hit him. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yep. That's what I, yeah, no, but, it's, well, yeah, no. but the bonus is Fantasy Grounds automatically gives it to you because it knows. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so when it happens, it just automatically adds it. Eva's turn. I can move back towards this dude and I just like nope, I'm I'm turning around. <laughs> Hello, sir. It's time to go. Just saying. It's time to go. Uh you hit. Alright, let's do number one. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh shit, that was a that was a lot of damagi. Alright. Get ready for uh, uh, hold on a minute. So oh. you hit him and you took him down enough life that he dematerializes oh shoot okay and uh right he... over there. Yep. Oh, he's hacked yeah uh, i don't know how much further i can go but uh, I, I, guess... I think you move yeah, 10 just, feet you move I 10 feet move towards the main guy because i don't i can't see the distances right now still okay um so he dematerializes and he moves and he rematerializes over next to zozo and so you're gonna move back to, okay. so that's 20 feet. Did you, where'd you want to go? Um, I guess I'll just stay where you just put me. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of smarter to move as a team, I think, at this point. <laughs> they be channeling. Same with him. Same with him. Same with him. All right, Vash's turn. Um, where's Vash? At? Right over there. Can she reach with Toll of the Dead? 60 feet? Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yes. She's going to Toll <gasps> the Dead. That uh, underling that teleported next to Zoe. Oh, almost a 20. Uh, he fails. So he takes... He's taking damage, so it does more damage. That's awesome. And he took five damage. And once again, he dematerializes and pops up next to Kyrian. Pancake, your turn. My turn. Okay, let's see. Do 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 do. Fantasy ground. Stop acting like a crazy thing. I'm assuming the underling moved next to Kyrian. Oh, wait. Hold on. She did enough damage. Um, That last hit is... <laughs> and he just fades from existence. That guy died. He's super dead. Um, so I'm just... Okay. So can I move my hunter's mark to the next one on the pillar? Um, If you are within range. Which I don't know if you are. And I will go ahead and take my full movement and go ahead... That's gotta be 
at least 90 feet, correct? Um. To move over to the next guy? Yeah. So you will have to probably use most of your movement to get your hunter's mark okay, onto him. Will you move me 60 feet? Sure. Where are you? There you are. 5, 10, 15, 20. And it counts as double because you have to move through bear. So 30. So you can be here. Um, and it, I think it takes a bonus action to move your hunter's mark, right? I think it's just while the spell You can is use a bonus spell. action, yes. So you can actually run to try to get the hunter's mark on him if you want to do that. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Uh, 10... 15, 20, 25, 30. Now are you within range? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. He is on an incline. Technically, yeah. you might be out of range. You're out of range ever so barely. That means, does that mean your hunter's mark goes away? Because you didn't move it? The target enemy, you can use a bonus action. I think you still have it, because it doesn't say it goes away. I think, I, I think it is because of concentration. Well, concentration breaks if you get hit. Yeah, and it's... Right. And then I have advantage on wisdom or perception. Right, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. But the idea is, if a target drops to zero hit points, you can move it as a bonus action on your next turn. However, if you can't move it, does it disappear? Is what I'm... I think it does. Because you do, essentially no longer have a target marked. So I think it goes away, and you'll have to recast it. Uh, um, but that's your movement to to run, or yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, or if you want, you could just. I think you're, you're, you could shoot if you wanted to. We can move you back thirty feet. Because you could shoot him, you just won't be able to move your hunter's mark. Go ahead and do that. Let's move back I believe that's within range. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Your range is something stupid, isn't it? It's like crazy long. <laughs> it's a longbow. Um, you have 600 foot range. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you could do this entire map, a... probably. Go ahead and sh shoot yeah. at him. Um, which underling is this? Uh, that would be number two. I can't see numbers. Is it the 15 health, or which order is it? 15, there. 14, or 6? Uh, they all should have 15. Yeah, none of them, only one of them has taken damage and he's dead. He's on a pillar. He's on the number two pillar. Or, I guess there's multiple number two. Oh, you're in the combat tracker? Uh, he's underling two. Uh, underling ghoul number two. You hit him. You hit him. So, what? I, same thing happens. Oops, I closed the combat tracker. He, uh, you knock him out of his concentration. His uh, energy shield goes away, and uh, he teleports out. He de dematerializes and and uh, teleports right next to you. So 
I'm assuming this is the same thing Kiri and Camp comes on, correct? Uh, let's see. 10, 15, 25, 30. No, he could, he could totally pounce him. He's within range of his normal movement. Okay. Um, yes, so I'm going to... Just have him... There. Carry and pounce on him. Go for it. I moved him for you. I think it's a bite first, right? Hold on. Well, if the panther moves at least 20 feet straight forward, straight toward a creature right before hitting it with yeah, a Yeah, you gotta hit it with a claw attack. Yeah, do a claw attack first. And if you hit him, then you can do it. And you no. missed. No! No! no. no. <laughs> Kieran was just like r coming to run up next to you to be like, oh! My friend, she's moving. I'm coming up, and then things showed up. It's like, ah, shit, and just miss. Dang it! That would've been great. Uh, All right, Zozo's turn. Ah, uh, she's <laughs> her turn. She sees uh, this ghoul uh, materialize before her, and then immediately just evaporate because uh, Vasha being on top of the things and seeing it appear. So she's like, ah! and comes to catch up. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25. She is going to attempt to mockerize. Because why not? I always have to check the range. Yeah, she's 60 feet. It's fine. On you! No, get down. And he <laughs> rolled a 5, so it takes some damage. Uh, took some damage and now has disadvantage. On its rolls, because uh, the, apparently the, the horrible sounds that she's playing with her loot is causing it some massive distress. Echo, it's your turn. Okay, where is he? He is there. I'm gonna five, ten, fifteen, five, ten, fifteen. Yep, I'm gonna move to here, and then I am going to. Hmm, Crossbow him to the face. Um, so. to you, so you had your mace out. In order to try, pull your crossbow out, you either have to drop your mace or you have to use your action to switch. I'm, I'm gonna throw my mace at him. You're gonna throw it? Uh, yep. crap. Now I have to look up throw action. <laughs> Isn't that m melee? No. Throw. Um, I don't know if you actually can throw your weapon because it doesn't have the thrown property. Uh. Um. Yeah, you you can't throw it. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Uh, can I switch to my crossbow and use that? Was that a... Well, if you do that, um, it takes your whole action. Or you can just drop your mace and you can still fire. But you would have to remember to pick your mace back up. Okay, then we, what I'm gonna do is. Or you eldritch blast him for free. That's what I was literally <laughs> about to say. <laughs> Good old trusty comes back again. Okay, let's go. Cast on him. Oh, that was and nasty. He it was, it was dodges bad. out of the way. <sighs> then, uh, I guess. End of turn. <laughs> Lushu! Okay. It was up! 20. Oh, please hit this time. We're waiting for it. <laughs> We're waiting for it. Hey, it's a hit! Okay. Thank God for that. Right, let me do my damage. There is damage. Where's my sneak attack? Um, apparent. Oh, hold on a minute. One of your <laughs> your thing got changed. Uncanny dodge. Um, your sneak attack didn't. Uh, oh, here you go. It's in abilities. I got sneak attack plus an uncanny dodge in R. I don't know what that. There is. you go. 
Um, go ahead and roll a d6 and I'll add it to him, but now you had it. Ooh, okay. Wait, wait, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. You seem to make a mistake here, Basive. Hmm. It's 3d6. Wait, what? It's 3d6. Your sneak attack. Oh, then we need to change that in your character sheet. Because uh, I'm level five now. It's from beginning at first level. The amount of extra damage increases as you gain levels in this class, as shown in the sneak attack column. Sneak attack, 3d6. Okay, uh, let me update that on your character sheet. 3d6. That's nasty, bruh. Mm -hmm. That's sick. Okay. Um, so, I guess roll two more. Yay. I think you kill him. Because you just did... And then... Nine. I mean, I'll take 12, it. 13. You said 13. Damage. Uh, he, yeah, he, he... So, your first... Or your attack tries to go through and you see him try to uh, materialize but then his eyes kind of flicker out and just kind of dies Fuck yeah. <laughs> all right well just okay. nuked the shit out of that guy and, um, i'm also going to sing as he's now gone i'm gonna move wait no i can't move anymore i already moved no wait i can still move 10 feet because i only moved 20 right yep all right then so i'm just gonna go but I'm at like the bottom, I'm not on top of the thing. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, you wouldn't be able to get up there. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Uh, time complete. There we go. Eva's turn! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna move. Um, that you're going through the, uh, the force field. Oh shoot, force field, never mind. Right. I mean, you can um, attempt it. What kind of check is that again? To go through the force field? Yeah. Um,. There's no check, I guess you'd say. It's you would have to see if you can break it. Just like, are you gonna like try to force your way through it? That's the question. I might try to brute strength it just because I can, or maybe I. I mean, I don't know if I can or not, but you know, um, bear. <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, yeah. you you see this force field? You're just brrr, you're gonna try to charge the necromancer or charge through there? Yeah, just try to charge the field for right now. All right, you are gonna take. 1d6 you take one damage you're fine <laughs> um but um as you try to force your way through it seems to like completely repel your body uh in a different direction and you're just like ow my snoot <laughs> the, the almighty one damage that you took <laughs> you slapped me right in the yep. nose Two pillars labeled number two. There are still two guys on those, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna. Move you do see that the the bit. the strength of the the field is slightly starting to weaken. Ah. Okay. So is that like I can do one hit per turn and try to get through the field, or can I do multiple? Th this was me just forgetting. Um, every time one of the the ghouls that are channeling energy into this sphere, every time they die, the the field gets a little weaker. I see. Okay. You, you see it kind of Probably shimmering. Better. Try to move a little bit towards the other guys. Probably sounds smart. Maybe take them uh, down a peg or two, <laughs> I should say. Get ready um, to did you want to run or did you want to just move? Um, oh yeah, I, for I forgot I can run. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess as far as the like lower number two that I can move, I'll just go towards there. Okay. I feel really bad because I can't see any. No, you're fine. I I'm happy to help. So five, Thanks. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. 40. There you go. And these guys are busy doing their channeling. Basha. It's go time. Uh, she's just going to book it. She sees that uh, you try to run into the, the field yourself and is like, I'm not trying that. So she's going to hug the edge too. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30, 35. Pancake, it's your turn. Never used incense. Um, you said I have stupid, crazy range, right? Yeah, 600 feet. Some stupid. Okay, what's the what? What number is the underling that's on the pillar marked two? Well, they're all marked two, but they're. Can I? 
Is there a way to zoom to fit toggle? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find a measurement. Boo! All right, that's a long ass range. Um, I think you could probably hit, but let's see. 10, 15, 25, 30, 40, 45, 55. Yeah, you're totally within range, dude. <laughs> Just like, I think I see a guy over there. Um, so which underlying is it? Is it goal one or goal three? Uh, three. Three? I'm just gonna attempt to hit three. Okay. Um. Why are you? Oh, it thinks you're in melee. I don't know why you gave me the advantage. Because it thinks you're in melee, but that dude is supposed to be dead. Um, oh, you would, you hit anyway. I don't know why it gave you disadvantage because that guy's dead. And, oh, hold on a minute. Um, same thing. Oh, no, he just gets knocked off. Yeah, he gets knocked off. And you're, you're just making this easy for your team. Uh, that's number two. Yeah, because they just essentially get knocked off and they just teleport over next to you guys, so... Um, actually, he's gonna teleport all the way over there. Um, so that was, uh, your attack? Yeah, so, is he within a path for Kyrian? Five, ten, yep. Yes, sir! Okay. I'm going to have him count at underlying Go for it. I'll move him for you. <laughs> so claw attack first. Mm -hmm. Cross your fingers. Ooh! Oh, it was 14 and switched to three. It was so close. <laughs> Kieran is having the worst luck with his pounces. He's forgotten how to cat. <laughs> He's like, hey, I thought I was a bear friend, mm -hmm. not cat friend. All right, is that your turn? turn? All right, Zozo has her loot out and is going to uh, try to mock him. He saves. Oh, she's in danger. Um, Echo, your turn. All right, I am going to... in the way. Damn it. I was there, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Just go there and uh, I'm going to attempt to... Hmm. Do I try? I can't reach the underling, can I not the underling, the, uh, uh, what's he called? Necromancer. Or can um, I? there, there's, a that perimeter field around there. The, the big white circle. Mm. Shit, hold on. We fucked up. Pancake, you can't shoot through that circle. Because, um... Oh, I can't... Yeah, so, okay, so we have to back up. My bad. Because that's a perimeter field, so, yeah, you couldn't shoot through that circle to knock him back. So we'll move him back here. With you. My bad. Okay, okay, reset. Theoretically, how tall is that dome? Uh, it's like 60 feet, like, in the air. 
and and it's already on a raised platform so it's like uh it's probably goes up to like 100 feet just a big dome of energy okay but if i could climb a pillar could i shoot over uh no the pillars aren't that high the pillars themselves are about 50 feet but the the dome would still be blocking your sight i mean you could try to shoot through it but go through a whole 60 feet movement okay that's the furthest I can go, and I'm not in range of anything interesting, so I'm gonna skip. There we go. Um, are you also gonna move? Uh, Kyrian's gonna go ahead and run. Okay. Feet, so. Uh, you want me to move Kyrian for you? Yes, please. Okay. Five. Um, Echo, did you want to run as well? To try to catch up to the team? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can move 60. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45, 50, 55, 60. Nice. Uh, Eva, it's your turn. Oh, Pancog, do you want me to move you too? It's Eva's turn. I don't have anything. I mean, not as barely, so I don't have ranged. Um, but I guess I'm gonna just probably do what I did last turn and just run towards the dude on the lower number two pillar as close as I can, so that hopefully when someone knocks him off, I can Five, smack him in the face. Ten, two, I was gonna say he, he teleports. Thirty. Uh, did you want to run to him or just move forty? Yeah. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right. There's your run. Get wrecked if he comes down here. Freaking coward. <laughs> you and standing up there on your hidey hole. All right. Vasha is also going to run. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 35. And it's pancake. Um, if you move me 30 feet. Let's see. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Will you have line of sight? You'll have line of sight there to shoot him. Shoot away! Uh, that would be number three. <gasps> Dodge! Okay, sucks. Okay, end my turn. Uh, you want Kirin to do anything? Next to the bear. All right, he's going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You just want him next to him? He has 10 feet of movement still. Nope. Next to the bear. Next to the bear. You got animal pride going on here. All right, we go in. Oh, little Zozo. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 25 25 5 10 15 20 25 oh my gosh he's so tiny all right echo it's your turn uh running is 60 isn't it yes okay so i'm gonna move a bit further up so 50, 55, 60. Okay. There we go. Lucio. Alright then. 
Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. I am good. Let go. <laughs> Everyone just running around this big old dome. <laughs> Eva's turn. Good thing these guys are just focusing on channeling. All right, Vasha is going. Does she have range? Untold the dead. 60 feet. Probably not. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Now she does. Does this count as a ranged attack? I don't know if it counts as a ranged attack, even though it's a spell. I'm going to count it as a range attack. Bonk. And she rolls a two. Oh, he rolls a two. So that's a super fail. Um, You kind of see him. Seems to take some like a knock out of thin air. And uh, faces out of existence. And vroom, teleports next to, next to Zozo. Uh, Pancake, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to move up oh. about 15 more feet. Hold on a minute. Somehow it switched. There it goes. There you go. You said you're moving up some more? Yeah. Okie dokie. If you can move me up. Sure. Fantasy ground hates me. Uh, how far do you want to move? 15 feet. Uh, towards the way you were moving? Yes. 5, 10, 15. There you go. And I'm going to attack ghoul number 3 again. Uh, ghoul 3 is in back of you, uh, behind you now. You know that, right? No. Yeah, he got, um, no. Vasha hit him, so then he teleported. You probably okay, might... You could shoot one if you moved a little bit more. Go ahead and move me my full 30 feet, and okay. I'm going to attempt to hit the ghoul with what? 5, 10, 15. Okay, yeah, you can hit him from there. And you hit. He also... Yeah. Uh, and he's going to teleport... Two. You guys don't. I can't. There it goes. Um. Also, now that the the channeling has stopped, the uh, the dome has flickers out of existence, and uh, there's a there's no more protective dome. Okay. Um. Kirian. Uh. Can. Do their move if you so desire. Um, you within a punk range. Ghoul one. Um, let's see. Ghoul one. I he might be out of range. Let's see. Five, ten, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. But he has to run up. I think. Yeah, he's out of range. Okay, go ahead and move him 30 feet back towards that roll. Okay. And then that'll be his turn. 5, 10, 15, 20. Ah! 25, 30. Hey, Kieran's just getting confused, like running forward, then turning back, running forward, then turning back. He's getting his exercise, okay? <laughs> He's being a healthy catch. Uh, it's also okay. Huh! As ghouls keep popping up next to her. She's gonna attempt to mockerize this dude and critical fail oh no he critical failed i always forget that 
He rolled, rolled a one. And he takes a little bit of damage. He takes one damage. But he is also mocked and upset. And now he has to take a disadvantage. When you reach level five. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Zozo's level five, right? You're all level five. Hey. Uh -huh. Her thing is wrong. I must fix. Hold on. Her her attack should be not 1d4. It should be 2d4. Let me see it. Let me fix it. I want. I'll just fix it later. All right. What's the additional damage? Three more damage to ghoul three. Ghoul three. Where are you? Where are you? Um, so that is Zozo's turn. Echo's turn. Okay, another question quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a few actions on my, uh, D&D sheet that aren't on the, uh, fine, fancy ground ones. Mm hmm Like what? And it's Screeching Ray, Vampire Trip Touch, those two. I thought I added those just now, or earlier. Uh, yeah, I can't find those ones. Uh, Vampire Touch is there. Aha. Uh -huh. um, um, but Scorching Ray is not. I can add it. Okay, listen. Um, spells. Scorch. Oops. There you go. Thank you, thank you. What I'm gonna do... It's probably a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Screw it. Yep. I cast. Whoops. Fireball. Right, let's go. Fireball, fireball. You're gonna cast fireball? Yeah, on who? Because uh, the dome is down, isn't it? So I can get a shot into the uh, dude bad, the dude man. The necromancer. She's right. You can. Tr um. Yes. You you can attempt to attack him if you so desire. Well, I should, I should say the, uh, the, mm. go ahead, if you want. Hang on, hang on. There, I, oh, hold on. I'm not going to make this dirty on you. Roll an, uh, perception check first before you do this. Perception check, okay. That's just a d20, I don't know why I'm not just throwing one away for Mm -hmm. Um, well, you would get a bonus. Hold on. Your perception is... Where is it? Skills. Plus five. Uh, plus five. So you would have got a nine. Um, you still see a slight shimmer. Uh -huh. Um, it, it's obviously not as powerful as when the ghouls were channeling their energy, but you still notice that there, there's a slight shimmer of energy, uh, around the dome. Or the dome is still slightly there, but it it doesn't have the the energy that it once did. So I'll okay. let you decide what you want to do with that. Uh, I haven't moved so far. Ten. I'm gonna to move to here, and I am going to. I don't know. I'm gonna move here, and I'm gonna mace him to the face. Uh, un underling one. Okay, go for it. Why can't I okay. do this? Oh, 2d4, that's right. Did I do that right? Um, yes, you did damage to him. Smacked him right in the face. Nice. Oh my god! Um, you did you did your max damage to him, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but you did enough damage that you... <laughs> he's gonna fade from existence. And teleport up next to, to Fascia. My God, I can't. You got this warlock person smacking people for max damage with a mace. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Yep. Sorry, I forgot to pass it again. You're good. Eh. Lucius' turn. Well, I can't really do fuck all, so I'm gonna move there. There you go. Not really a charge in. 
<laughs> You're just like, I'm coming for you, bitch. Eva's turn. Okay, um, I suppose I should have enough to get back to this dude, right? Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna smack at him kind of hard, hopefully. Uh, you hit. <laughs> get ready, sir. Oh, that wasn't mm, too good, but hello. Six damage. Um, wait. Six damage? Okay. Yeah, you hit him and <laughs> she teleports again. Uh, unless he's dead. Hold on. Nope, he's still alive. Um, he's going to teleport to Lushu. Oh, coward running away from me. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to get back over there in time, so I might as well hopefully let one of the others take a pass at him. All right, number one. Oh, he should have teleported somewhere else, but he did not, so he's going to swing at Lushu. And he, Lucio just is like, fuck you, I'm, I'm, run, I'm, run, I'm gonna fight the big man. He just totally dodges out of the way. <laughs> I'm not here for you. <laughs> yeah, you, you a chump change, sucker. All right, ghoul three is gonna take a swipe at Zozo. Ah, why did he get advantage? Oh, he got disadvantage. He still hit. That's rough. And wow, I think every attack I've rolled is one damage. But, uh, he, yeah, he smacked Zozo. Uh, Vasha is gonna back up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and is going to pull the dead. I'm trying to play what they, uh, the, the players play the best I can. Alright, pull the dead is going to smack. Um, and he passes. Also, since I have this open, I'm going to see if it goes up. Yep, it definitely goes up. That should be 2d8 damage. Yuck! Alright, we might have to check everyone's uh, sheets, because I think everyone's damage is a lot nastier than what is showing up, or some of their spells. Um, Vasha missed. Uh, Pancake, your go. I'm going to... We're still fighting Underling 3, correct? Uh, yeah, he's the closest one to you. There's also one near uh, Zozo. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have Kyrian go first. Just to... If he has attack fails, which it probably might defend... Ten. Just how roll the bin. Yeah, he, he can... Uh, he can get a pounce. Uh, no, wait, because he has to run around the stairs. It's not a straight line. Ah. Uh, he can get there. Do a bite. Oh, critical oh. miss. Um. So uh, he, he attempted to run and then fell over. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, he he tripped on the edge of the stairs here, so it stopped his. No, because he technically, eh, we'll say he didn't do anything, but it he kind of lost his footing on the stairs and poof, cat face plant into the the gravel. <laughs> Poor kitty. So then I'm going to attempt to hit it with my bow and arrow. Okie doke. <clears throat> uh, you hit. And I hit. And I think he might be dead. Let's see. That's underling one. Let's see. Where are you? Underling one. Wait a minute. Oh, you attacked three. Hold on a minute. Is that not the one that works right, like, that's not right here? The one that's right in front of you is number one. Uh, um, well, okay, well, he's dead. Uh, I'll take the damage from three. You did five? Okay. There you go. Uh, so, he also... <laughs> and, uh, fades from, uh, the material plane. Okay. That's my turn. 
All right, Zozo is gonna <laughs> fight in this one dude by herself. Playing all sorts of tunes. He fails. Swing. Get him. She rolled two ones. Hello. That sucks. <laughs> he's still alive. But he's been mocked. Um, this is underling three. How much damage has he taken? He's gonna dematerialize. And eh, appear next to the bear. Echo's turn. Okay. Where is me? He's up there. Okay, so if I do five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. The bear's in the way, so I can't really do much, but I'm gonna move up to thirty here. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cast fireball and crit miss and just have you seen a shaved bear that's what exactly what Eva would look like there is no way I can aim for him at all so I'm just gonna pass my oh you can hit him or you can try to hit him with your like eldritch blast or something you're within range okay, okay, blast. although if you do crit miss you might hit Eva it's, it's a 1 in 20 chance. Okay. You say that, but... <laughs> no, watch. Now they drink jinxed it. <laughs> what a mistake. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! 17. Hey. Yeah, you hit. Also, I'm checking your Eldritch Blast. I don't know if it's actually doing the, the correct damage it's supposed to do. Yeah, you get two beams of Eldritch Blast. Gross. Okay, so... Damage. So you have two beams now for your Aldrich Blast. Nice. So if there was multiple people, you can split the the beams to hit different people, or you can make them all target one person and you oh you roll really low, but you could just nuke someone because you do 2d10. Nice. And that's number three. Did you do enough damage to make him teleport out of anger? They get like no moves because the whole time they're just bouncing around it's like, ah, I've been hit. Yep, and teleports. Okay, um, he's going to teleport next to... Right here. In between you guys. Oh, wait, no. Right here. This is the smart way. Lucio, you. you gizzy to go. Oh! Oh! Yes, you can do it. You're looking for that sneak attack damage. That's what I want. Okay. All right. Main hand. I get two attempts. I got a plus seven. Come on, that's gonna hit. You hit. All right. So, so now. Plus nine. Um. How did I get a plus nine to that? Because yeah, you got friends next to you. So, um, now what you can do is. Under your sneak attack, drag that onto yourself, the effect, and then you'll get your sneak attack damage. It should be auto applying, but I think the latest fantasy on okay. grounds update broke some I plugins. Roll my, I roll my 1d4 for the actual dagger damage to, to Well, hold on. Right? Go ahead and apply your damage, and it'll do it all at once for you, or your sneak attack. Okay, yeah, I just did that. Now, if I do. No, it didn't. <laughs> um, did. So you didn't drag it I on dra yourself. I, I, I dragged sneak attack onto me. Then I did my 1d4 because of the dagger hitting. Um, and the d6s didn't appear. Uh, didn't, doesn't say it got added to you. Hold on. Here, I'll do it. I, I, I did. I did. Oh. Yeah, there, now it's added. Because it would show up in chat. Okay, so do I roll that 1d4 again? Or... No, it's it's already added. Oh. Um, so do I just roll a d6? Um, because that was your offhand damage, that D4? No, that was my main hand damage. Oh, so yeah, so go ahead and grab 1D6 and just right-click twice. And it'll add three and throw them into chat and they'll just add it. I'm pretty sure you're just going to kill him. I uh, damage altogether. I think... Oh, 16? Yeah, he's fucking dead. 
There's eight for the original attack. Oh, so much damage. Uh, yeah, he is, uh, that's ghoul three. Yeah, him, uh, him super dead. Deadman. All right, dead. All right. And then we gotta, we gotta fade out the music because, uh, intense things have happened. But you're still in a gross cave. All right. Um, with the final ghoul down, uh, the last of the underlings ghouls fade from existence. Uh, the death, uh, shield finally fizzles into the ground. And, and at the center of the cairn, uh, on one knee is, uh, Zelver. Uh, he takes a quick moment to, to gather his senses and, and he says, uh, do you... You have proven most troublesome to my endeavor. I will personally make sure that your souls will go to the great use when I rip them free of your cold, lifeless corpse. And he readies two... And he, he lifts up his hands and he readies two glowing balls of green ethereal file, fire. And, he, uh, and, he, and he's gonna phase next to you guys and says, Prepare to die! And then, uh... Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! <laughs> <laughs> and uh he's going to phase oh wait three needs to there he goes oh god I'm glad we all have this is the part i hate about being a dm i i'm supposed to play them like they're, they're trying to win so he's going to teleport to zozo ah i hate it all right but we need some we need some tunes hold on this is... Please one wind angel. <laughs> It'd be so perfect. Uh, yeah, get DMCA'd for that. Just put the stream title as Final Fantasy VII, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Where's the lie? Here you go. There you go, that'll work. I thought that was it for a second. I honestly thought I was like, oh, you raised my hopes and you smashed them on Oh, no, this one's better. All right, let's go. Uh, so he, uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. All right. Uh, he, he, uh, he sh phases up next to, uh, Zozo. Oh God, I hate you. All right. You're going to really make me ASMR this bullshit. All right. All right. What time is it? I have to do it for five minutes. All right. We're fine. Uh, so he, uh, he, he teleports up next to Zozo and with a, a flaming green fist, just swings at her little halfling body. This removes all the terror. And <laughs> removes the terror. And he hits. For not that much damage, it's fine. Um, Vash's turn. She sees a. Her friend is in need and rushes to her aid. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, I don't know if she heard me because I have to do stupid ASMR voice. But Pancake, it's your turn. Um. Yes. Yes, you can shoot. Go for it. Oh, come on, 
You hit him. You hit him. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, you hit him. So, so go ahead and apply that that extra damage on yourself. God. <laughs> you just did 20 damage. Dang, bro. That's huge. That is huge. Yeah. That's gross. That was too much damage. <laughs> is that uh is that your turn? can move, right? Zozo is going to use Dissonant Whispers. Use her level one spell and is going to rack his brain with some horrible thoughts and he passes. Echo's turn. Ugh, I have one more minute of this garbage. attack misses i can stop talking like that okay so your attack you critical missed roll the attack on zozo okay oh god yeah that that'll really hurt no, no not the damage okay well okay go ahead and roll the attack first but that's a shit ton of damage Did you hit her? Um, hold on. So that's a, uh, a nine against her wisdom, I think. Hold on. Oh no, it's just a, it's just a ranged attack. I don't think that hits. Oh my god, hold on. <gasps> but she's a tiny. She's a little man. She has like moves to get out of the way. I think. Hold on. Nope, that's naturally stealthy. Doesn't help at all. But I, I think she has enough armor. Okay. Oh, it, uh, you don't hit Zozo, thank goodness. But a big old purple blast of death energy goes just right near her face. Whoo, that ended badly. That was, a, that was a lot of damage. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Uh, Lushu. Use up. Uh, 
60. There we go. That's all I need to do. And my turn. Eva's turn. Um, I guess I'm gonna run again um, towards this dude. Uh, if I can, there we go. Okay, it was just like a control click. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried to drag it again and I still can't see the distance. Um, so I guess if I use the turn to run um, as close up to the dude as I can. Uh, yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're just going to run the whole thing? Yeah, I'm just going to try to run towards 10, him. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so I gave you the option that you can run down the stairs or you'll have to jump off like a 50 foot platform. So you yeah. can decide next turn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that good at jumping. <laughs> Alright. Yes. He takes uh, that arrow claw just straight into his uh, right, right just under his shoulder. <laughs> Angrily, he uh, takes both of his hands, powers them up, and launches two bolts why is this that's incorrect it's not okay um but he's going to attack both who is he gonna attack he's gonna attack both zozo and he w can't see vasher or lushu but he can see the he can see pancog so he's gonna ethereal bolt Sozo. Hits her. Oh. Wow, he's just rolling like garbage. Um, also is Hancog. Hits. Why did you take Oh, you rolled concentration. Which, why? Why are, you rolling, why are you rolling concentration? You don't have that spell up anymore. I don't know why it rolled concentration for you. Whatever. And then, uh, he is going to teleport. Oh, he has to, he's going to have to be next to someone. So he's going to... Teleport here. Yeah, come here, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vash's turn. Oh wait, that's me. Right. Right. I remember how to play. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Uh I don't think Vasha does not have line of sight because he's behind the, the stairs. Um, so she's gonna actually run, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Were you on the stairs or off the stairs, Echo? You were on the stairs, right? There you go. Um, Pancake, it's your turn. Go for it. Uh, Oops, wrong button. So you said the first one is for me? Uh, oh shit. Hold on. Uh, I accidentally clicked something that I wasn't supposed to click. You, uh, the first one's for you? Let's see. Uh, Hunter's Mark is no uh the second one's for you uh -oh. How do I fix that? um i can fix it in the, the sheet here god damn it god damn it oh my god things are problems 
can't I edit this properly? Hello. Plus four. Hello again. Wait, did that work? I don't know if that actually worked. So, did you add it to yourself? Hold on, checking you. You ha oh, here. <laughs> I will fix your effects. Hold on. Effects. Effects, there you go. Um, get rid of this one. And did you put the put it on him? Or do you need me to do that? Okay. Uh, I need to fix the first effect. Um, you need me to what? Oh, got you. Pancake there you packaging. go. He's good. Okay. Um, now the question is, the sharpshooter. <clears throat> no. You're not gonna use the sharpshooter. It should add it automatically. Let's see. 1d8 plus 4 did 6 damage. So 3 more. Alright. I fixed it and I think the, uh, the effects are backwards so I'll just go ahead and fix them. Um, so I, I updated his damage. I'm gonna fix the Hunter's Mark thing because it seems to be wrong. Bonk. Fix you. Elite. Alright. There you go. Alright, let, we'll, next time you attack, we'll see if it actually works properly. Alright, Zozo. Oops. Why are you shrinking? Zozo is going. What's Zozo gonna do? She's gonna move up for one. Five, ten. Oops, ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. She's tiny. And she can't see him. So she is going to. She doesn't have any level 3 spells on her sheet. So what she's going to do is she's going to actually use her Bardic Inspiration. On... Who hasn't gone yet? Oh, she's the last person. <laughs> she's going to use her Bardic Inspiration. If she is within range. I don't think she is. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... She's not with, actually she can't. She's not within range of anyone. Um so I guess she's just gonna run. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There you go. Little legs. Echo's turn. So uh the necromancer is right below you. I am going to five, ten, fifteen. Uh you'll take an attack of opportunity from uh leaving his threat range. <laughs> okay. Mace him up. Do it. Why aren't you working? Oh my god. Oh no, another crit fail. Um oh, no. You uh You you so since he's below you, you try to swing below, but the weight of the mace you're 
it's a little unwieldy, so you swing, and it throws you off balance, and you fall in front of him, and you fall prone. Oh, no. Um, 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 I don't have anything I can do. Crap. Prone, where are you? Prone. Yeah, you're in a you're in a bad spot right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucia's turn. <sighs> right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. <laughs> you're getting your fucking workout, dude. <laughs> Uh, Eva's turn. I don't know if I have to do a good old run for this one, but if I can move, like, here-ish... Yeah, let's see. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can, you can get here without, okay. uh, running. Yeah, as long as I'm, like, close enough to smack the dude. Yeah, you can smack him. Uh, Alright, let's, let's give him a good old smack Rudy, shall we? Oh, <laughs> uh, you miss. Um, I'm gonna try that again. Maybe with a better roll this time. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, you hit. Okay. Hey. I got worried there for a second. <laughs> All right, some damage has been done. Get him. All right, cool. Just smack him once or twice. Protect my friend. All right. Thanks. He is going to, uh, Hmm. With his green fiery hands, he uh, has a an evil smirk come across his face as you fall prone in front of him and his uh, hands kind of ignite in green fire and he takes two swings at you. Oops, that's the wrong thing. This. Two twelves. Okay, that one hit. All right, the second swing. Oh! He rolled two 12s, and then a second one, he rolled a one and a two. <laughs> but he had advantage, so the one didn't go off. So he misses you with one. Uh, but you take... You sh 12 damage. Aye, aye, aye. And with that, he is going to teleport over to Zozo. Vasha is... Where? Where's Basha? There you are. Are you within range? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Basha's within range. She's going to... Oh, no. You know what? She's going to... She's going to shield a face on, uh, on Zozo. So that's a level one spell. Can I cast that at higher levels? Nope. Shield of faith on give herself concentration. And give Zozo plus two. Hey, I'm learning. I got it. Um, that is Vash's turn. Pancake. did Jeez, my god you do, do stupid amount of damage you did damage well that's if you use sharpshooter but you didn't you would have done 24 there um 
would Kyrian be within Pout's range? Uh, he would not be able to run in a straight line because it, there's a, he would have to jump off the steps. Well, I mean, you, I, we could make him roll like uh, an athletics check to see if uh, he's able to continue a straight line run. <laughs> I don't want to lose my panther companion. You just gonna have him run up next to him then? No, I'm just gonna have him stay where he is. Okay. Uh, so it was Zozo's turn. She is going to try. Yeah, she's gonna try uh to do dissonant whispers again. Can she do that at a higher level? Yep. She's going to try it at third level. Dissonant whispers. Wrong button. All right. Boom. Does he succeed? He passes. All right. Well, he's got a nasty wisdom save, apparently. And she can't move out of the way because she takes an attack of opportunity. Uh, Echo, your turn. Uh, you are prone, remember. Okay, what, what I'm going to do is... I am going to give myself a potion of healing. Just laying on the ground and just... Uh, there we go. How do I... Uh, I just drink it, don't I? Just yep. Boom. Done. Uh, that takes your action to drink that. So in your... I got it. Did you just drag it on yourself? There we go. Here. Nice! Oh, dude, nice roll. Oof. Healed for eight okay. points of damage. And then... I am just gonna... Yep, pass it from there. Are you, are you gonna stand up? That'll take your movement. You're gonna stay laying on the ground. Oh, laying. Okay, I stand up first. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're prone. You're essentially on your stomach. Um, okay, but you, yeah. you use your you use movement to stand up. All right. Lucio, it's your turn. Right, I'm gonna play a little bit smarter this time. Use I'm that big right brain. Here. Hey. I'm moving right here, and then my turn. Look at this big brain man. I get the sneak attack. Hey. hey. Eva's turn. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm sure you have, is that he has to teleport next to someone. He can't just poof somewhere. So, big brain. Ah, you didn't have that knowledge? Spoilers. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, I might just move, like, here. <laughs> just like, come at us, bitch! We're in a bubble of doom. Three, come at me, bro. <laughs> um, I might just, like, move there. Alright. <laughs> this is our zone of terror. Um. Alright, um, he is going to... Oh, poor Zozo. He's going to try to double punch Zozo. Uh, he hits. He misses. Alright. Damage. Boom. A little bit of damage. All right. Zozo is uh, definitely hurting. She uh, she has like a little bit of blood running down one of her eyes. She's getting punched in the face. Uh, Vasha is going to... 5, 10. She's going to roll an athletics check to see if she can jump off that edge without any sort of problems. Athletics. Oh, <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Mm, okay. Uh, she makes it, but it's a, it's a little bit of a tumble. Uh, so it's going to use a little bit of her movement speed. So 30, 35, 5, 10, 15. All right. So she had to essentially run to get there because uh, her athletics check. Pancake, it's your turn. Let's see. Uh, so 
I'm still gonna attack him with my bow and arrow. Go for it. Oh! With the crit! Yes! Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh, that's so much damage! Without uh, like any other crazy bonuses besides the hunter's mark. All right. Well, you rolled a two, unfortunately, for your D8, but that's still pretty scary. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Uh, so that's okay. your move. I'm gonna have Kieran. So he's gonna go attack. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll move him. Yeah, make him uh, roll in athletics, so then I'll just keep him where he was at. Oh, no. Uh, so athletics would be, uh, dexterity, or... Er, st strength? I I just had it open. I accidentally closed Kyrian thingy. No! Uh, here, I'll, I'll send it back to you. Yink. So many maps open. There you go. Oh. So, um, it'll, not it'll just be a, a strength check. Oh! No, no, yeah, he no. doesn't. He uh, tries to fall off and uh, once again, kitty face plants into the ground. Aren't they supposed to land on their feet? Come on. I don't know how to cat, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, shit. Oh, I did a thing. It's fine. Um, it is. <laughs> is that your turn? Okay. Uh, Zozo, does Zozo have anything to heal? I hate to do this, but I'm going to use... Uh, Zozo is going to use a healing potion because she is hurting. Mark off a healing potion. Okay. And that's her turn. Echo's turn! Alright, I am going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If I move to here... I'm gonna try an uh, you won't be able to see him because you're like in a, a uh, concave a dome. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, and he's uh, he's like 50 feet below that dome. Okay, so uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I see him from there? Yeah, you can see him from there. Okay, right. Eldritch Blessings. Oh, definitely hit. Here, here comes some big damage. Ah! Oh! Nine damage! Nice. Two purple beams just come flying out your fingers. <laughs> and that will be my turn. Lucius turn! I'm good for that. You can make it 5, 10, 20, 30, 35. You can make it there because you have to run through some friends. Yeah, I'm going to start there, I think. Okay. Yeah, just stick right there. Smart idea. All right. Necromancer surrounded by two peoples. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He is going to teleport here. 
And he's going to use a lair action. Five, ten, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, everyone except for Pancog, roll a deck save. Uh, that means I have to do. Zozo. Um, I'm assuming Kyrian has to do a deck save. Yep. I'm ready. Oh, Lord. Remember, it's a save, not the, uh, oh my God. check. So, Zozo. Vasha. Dex save. Am I just, like, outside of his range? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, he's, uh, he, he's gonna... Essentially, now that all the them are rolled, he... Oh, wait. Um, Lushu, roll a deck save. <gasps> wait, oh, that's wrong. I'm proficient. Don't worry about it. Say this. Alright. Dex save, yeah. Uh, deck save plus seven. I roll a one watch. Better. I know. I was going to say, you're going to be in trouble if you mock it. Um, <laughs> essentially, what uh, happens, he, he takes his uh, glowing palms together and he slams them together and it sends out a shockwave of a uh, green necrotic uh, fire energy. And Bear fails, Zozo fails, everyone else takes half. So, uncanny dodge. Um, I, I don't, you can't uncanny dodge a, a, a AOE. So, uh, Zozo takes thirteen. So does Bear. Ouch. All right, let's see. Oof. 25. So you're popped out? Alright. Yeah. Alright, let me um Oh no. Oh no. No more bear. You've lost the tank, oh no. The bear is down! <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm doing pretty impressive damage at the moment. Yeah, how do I delete the fucking bear? I can't get rid of the bear, he's stuck. Delete. <laughs> Confirm delete. It won't let me. There. Ah! It broke something because now there's two Evas. Oh no! no. My evil twin. Yep. The hopefully I deleted the right one. We'll see. Um, I think it is. I think it is. Okay. And so <laughs> Zozo is barely clinging on to life, which is scurry. Um, so everyone else takes seven damage. So oh god. All right. I'm just gonna go down the list. Um, Echo, you're at thirteen. Lushu, 17. Uh, Eva already took the damage. Um, I forget. Does Wild Shape, if you get knocked out, any rollover damage, that goes to your form, right? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I think it does. Let, let's do a quick check. Abilities. Wild Shape. Combat Wild Shape. Well, you were transformed. Yeah, we know that. I think it does. So that means you only take... I think it was three more that was over it. And then... Did Vasha already take her damage? Vasha did not. Okay, so... Um, it's half. So 14... Kyrian took some. Hancock was out of range. Did you stop looking at my desk? And, uh, see, so he already teleported. He did his blast. And now it is Vash's turn. <laughs> oh. Kite! Oh. <laughs> I don't remember how concentration works. Hold on. Anyone know what concentration works? I forget. Concentration. How's D and D concentration work? Um, concentration. You... It's Constitution save. Yeah. Sorry, I got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, 
Vasha had Shield of Faith up, so she has to roll a Constitution save. Then she passes. It's fine. And she is going to. All right, we're at we're at 5:30. We're almost done with this fight, so we can uh, push through. If that's cool with you guys. I'm cool. Um, Vasha is going to step up for uh give him disadvantage and she's going to she's gonna smack him with the mace to the face if i can grab this there it is and she rolled a crit miss I really don't want her to attack Zozo. She would kill her. Um. I'm just gonna. Oh, God. What would happen if she's swinging a mace and just misses the dude? It's a critical fail. Dislocates the arm? Well. I, I would do something like that, but she didn't roll. She didn't uh, roll on that table, and that's one of the things dislocated shoulder. So I'm not doing something like that. Um, I might do where um, she leaves herself vulnerable uh, to next attack, um, so uh, he can get advantage on her next attack. Like she just kind of swung too far and is now like her back's exposed. That sounds fair. Um. Pancake. That's if he survives. We'll see. If he survives. Okay, gonna shoot at the necromancer. <laughs> Ooh, big nice. Big nice. My I god, dude. Damage. Yeah, big just fucking murdering this guy. Pretty decent damage. So much stinking damage. Um, okay, so that's your turn. Is, uh, Kyrian gonna... Well, Kyrian yeah, slipped and face-planted, huh? He has to stand back up. He face it. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have him stand back up. Alright. Oh, we'll say, uh, he, he can get his attack because he doesn't have to move anywhere, so... He just kind of stands up and he sees him at his face. He's like, ooh, opportunity. Yeah. Uh, White had his ankles. Man, that flanking, kicking, kicking ass. Um, and he rolled max damage. Nice Amazing. Damage. Max damage. Nice. Yep. Nice. Big yeah. First time he's actually done damage. <laughs> Zozo is very much hurting. She has no heals. She's got more health potion. She's got at least. Really she has hard. one health potion left. Uh, that's totally not my plan. I'm totally not planning on taking care of Zozo the next turn. It's okay. Okay, minor illusion doesn't help her. Hmm. She's gonna use her health potion. All right, so knock that one out. All right, so apparently you can't write zero in inventory, which is kind of a bummer. Um, and she's going to heal herself because her little halfling self is very much uh. Almost unconscious. 
Although that was a big ass heal, it was like a third of her life. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Echo, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to Eldritch Blast. <laughs> blast him, blast him. Come on, give me something good. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you hit. Delicious damage, damage, damage. Ooh, ooh, that's big. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Oops. And then I end my turn. Barely holding on to a life. He's definitely, uh. Seems to be a little worse for wear. It's Lushu, it's your turn. My turn. Alright, here we go. You know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Are you gonna get the final kill when you've just been running around this whole time? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. After that workout, I think I deserve it. <laughs> With the two. I just, I hate everything. Okay, well, that one hit. So, I'll hit him with the original D4. I'll take that. And then my sneak attack still isn't there, so. I don't know if sneak attack works on your offhand. Let's see. Once per turn. So, you just have to hit. So, yeah, it works. Um, but you did just enough damage. Here, we gotta... I'm sneaking him anyway. I'm there you sneaking go. him anyway. <laughs> there we go. Oops. I tried so hard for that moment. I'm having it. <laughs> I'm fucking having it. <laughs> Running around is fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm closing the wrong things. All right. <laughs> With that final anger blow of, like, you son of a bitch just running this whole sticking time. You take a stab at him. And I teabag him after. <laughs> um, you stab, or actually, <laughs> actually, you know what? This is uh, the first, like, real storyline member that you've taken down. So I'm going to take a play from the legendary Matthew Mercer oh. and say to, okay. to Lushu, how do you want to do this? So, Lushu, who is still quite tired from all the running around. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst, um, how do you pronounce it? Zelver? Uh, Zelver. Zelver, yeah. Whilst Zelver is distracted with both Varsha and Zozo, because I'm behind, technically. Gonna take both daggers. Oh, music fits. Stab them into the shoulder blades and tear down. Bring yeah. it towards me, okay, ripping yeah. outwards, leaving the spinal column exposed and the ribs broken from the back. And I don't know if you guys have uh, ever seen what happens in Colombia, but uh, I won't go into it because we are on Twitch, but that. Um, that yeah, you've seen that? Yeah, you become an angel, basically. The, the ribs have been separated. Oh, the bloody angel from Viking. Yeah, bl uh, Blood Angel. Kind of wipe both daggers. Or Blood Eagle, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Wipe both daggers across my tunic and flick the blood down, do a good spin, and sheath them again. Nice. All right. After the, the final blow, a black mass uh, from you opened up uh, burst from Zelver's chest and shoots off into the sky. Uh, his body is now burns out and is completely devoid of any life force, uh, crumbles to the ground, and any remains of his minions that uh, could be around kind of collapse lifeless um, onto the, the ground, their souls finally free uh, to seek rest for eternity. And uh, I think that's where we can call it. Otherwise, we can wrap up a little bit here. It's I know it's late for you guys in UK. But yeah, it's 20 to 1. one. Yeah. So let's, uh, we'll just say that you take him down here and we can continue next week. It feels a l almost a little anti anticlimactic, but at the same time, hell yeah. You guys. It's a cliffhanger, it's okay. Yeah, cliffhanger. That's what we'll call it. You guys managed to hang on to the very end here. Took a shit ton of damage there at the very end. Uh, but you guys managed to down the first piece to the puzzle, I guess you could say. 
is going on here. And I guess we'll pick up and learn more next week. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you guys had fun. Um, oh my gosh. Well, I'm smiling like a huge jerk right now. I can't <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, that was a that was a wild ride. Um, yeah. A lot of crazy stuff happened on that one for sure. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap up. If you, you guys have anything for me or to say anything to chat. Good night. <laughs> you key folks need to go to sleep. All right, my friends. I'm looking forward to next week. Yes, we're gonna go have pizza rolls. Go eat them pizza rolls. That's our dinner. <laughs> All right, guys. You have a great afternoon for you guys. Yeah, afternoon. Uh, evening for you guys. Almost six o'clock. And uh, we'll. Yeah, that's night. If, if we don't speak to you beforehand, we'll see you next week. Yeah, we're gonna eat and sleep. So tell you. Yes. <laughs> tell you what, what, and that, that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Night, my friends. I appreciate you guys. All right. Let's see. I remember how to do all this stuff because I know how to stream and all that good stuff. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, yeah. Uh, team members have downed a first piece of the puzzle of what's what is going on in uh, this world. Uh, they haven't obviously figured out what that piece of the puzzle is, but there's something about this necromancer that seems uh, significant. It's the first part that is coming up here. Pancake! Thank you so much, my friend! 23 heckin' months! Jada! Oh my god, did you just murder Serial with that? Because he was stream boss and I didn't even get the chance to give him stream boss. Hold on. I should do this because before I forget. Jada! Where are you? Ah, loud! How did I do that? Um... I don't know how I did that. I just said new boss. That's not supposed to happen. Thank, thank you so much for the thing. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much, Pancake. You're almost out of here. Which I need to um, put up an update for the merch because I finally did get most of it fixed. It's kind of stopped breaking. Yeti still needs uh, his merch code um, for his 24 months. It happened like two months ago. Um, so once you're at 24 months, uh, another coupon will come out with your name. Uh, and uh, using the coupon is 15% off all merch for everyone. As a thank you so much for supporting the channel for a whole heckin' year, my dude. I appreciate you. I'm glad you guys are having fun. You're smiling like a huge jerk. I cannot thank you enough for it. Dude, I'm so glad you're a part of it. Like, I'm loving everyone. We got a good group here. Everyone is plays well together. Everyone is thoughtful of each other. You know, everyone's just on a good vibe and wavelength, and I'm very happy uh, with the team we got going on. So, um, I... Uh, the only downside about playing a player is I I try to play them as I think the player would. But I think I did okay with that, but I don't like using their items. Now, like, coming into the game, Zozo is going to be like, I'm down to potions. And I'm like, yeah. Well, I had to do that. They She didn't get to choose to do that. But at the same time, it kept her from heckin' dying. She was three health points away from dying. So that was scary. But uh, I guess uh, we'll see what's going on. I don't know how that uh, sound effect played automatically. That was kind of cool. I I thought that broke forever ago. And now it's suddenly working again. Hooray, I guess. You killed him one shot. I'm also smiling like a dorkiest dork. You guys are having fun then. I'm dude. I'm so glad. That makes me so happy to hear. It's uh, I'm always nervous about if you guys are having fun or not. Um, also, um, I need to actually. Oh, okay. So I can't be done immediately here. Um, I need to actually go calculate all the experience and stuff you guys have done over the past, what? This has been, been like three or four sessions, just this one side bit here. Or this one cave, I guess. And uh, I don't think anyone's going to level up because I think the closest person to level up is still like 8,000 experience away from level 6. And I don't think anyone, like even all those guys you fought isn't enough uh, because they were lower level and, you know, it's divided by the number of people here. So I'll have to calculate that out, but someone might level up. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, uh, I'll do some announcements 
in the Discord if anyone does. So keep an eye on that. And uh, if if one of you levels up, go ahead and do it on D&D Beyond. Let me know uh, when you do it. And we can add the stuff to your character sheet. I definitely want to go through and check... Here, I'm going to make a note. Um, check spells, because apparently... Uh, level 5 is significant for many spellcasters, and a lot of the damages were not right. So might want to fix that. Um, oh, I appreciate you, Moyer. I'm, I'm glad uh, you're having fun. Uh, I try to fake it well enough that <laughs> I seem to know what I'm doing. But um, let's see. Maybe uh, maybe we can go send some love to a friend of Reno. Um, I have to pretty much split immediately because I have to go have dinner with the fam. Um... Let's go see if I can just do a raid and run. <gasps> Yo, yeah, we're going to go raid Jem. Uh, we love her. Absolute bean. I would love to get Jem into D&D. &D. Uh, like, she's never tried it before, and I think it would. they would totally vibe with it. Um, they just, I don't know. They've never tried it, and uh, I think D&D &D in general just kind of feels intimidating if you're not already aware of it. But... Gem is lovely being she's playing some DVD. Uh, she's absolutely hilarious. She's on her way to become an affiliate. Um, as soon as she hits 50 followers, I guarantee she's going to get it. Um, she's her personality is made for streaming. So if you guys are not already following Jim, please follow me over there. Give her a follow. Give her some love. And uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got to get we got to get the raid message. Get your raid messages out and ready. You guys know how this works. We're going to go give her some love. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Hope you guys had fun. If you guys liked it, remember to like, subscribe, subscribe, comment helps us out a lot lets us know what you're liking what you're not liking but more importantly remember to spay and new to your pets adopt don't shop donate to rescue if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering that is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need anyway i'm vasive we are quarantine thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we'll catch you guys next time see ya other buttons there it is Jinda, come here let's go